Brown hair, brown eyes. This is the title of Matt Gardner's freshly dropped single. Described as his best work yet, Matt has on this track fused a love song with a wholesome country vibe. Being no stranger to the South African music scene, his pop country sound has seen him open for artists such as Prime Circle, Arno Custons, Desmond and the Tutus and many more. Well, he joins us now via Zoom to tell us more about his journey and his new project. Matt, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be on. Good stuff. Now, let's start with how your journey in the music industry has been like. Would you say that you found your feet? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say that I, I found my feet. Um, it, it actually took the, took the lockdown to be able to, to find my, my sound that, right. uh, that I'm comfortable with and that I think is, is genuinely me. Right, right. Now, speak to us about what this single, Brown Hair, Brown Eyes, is all about. Uh, it's, a, it's a country love song. Um, it's all about uh, all about love and that feel good feeling that you you get when you love somebody, and it's it's basically just about all of the amazing things that uh, I love about this this amazing mm, person. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's my favorite song I've ever written. So I hope everybody else loves it too. So is that what sums up uh, your you know your project? Are you uh, writing about love songs or just about any other you know issues that are facing us? Um, I've written a couple love songs. Um, okay. I've also got a couple songs in the, in the back that have a, a lot to do with what's going on in the world um, and, and my views and, and just how I see everything. Okay. Yeah, and I, I did mention earlier on that uh, this song has, you know, a wholesome country vibe. So is uh, country music what really defines you? Uh, in, in a way, yes. Um, okay. I listened to country music uh, for, for a good couple of years when my, my girlfriend came home from America. And mm -hmm. uh, she had the aux cord in the car. Uh, so that's what I got to listen to for a couple of years. So I fell in love with the genre. Um, okay. But I'd, I'd, also, I'd also throw in some, some pop and some, some alternate vibes as well. So it's oh, like a mixture mm. of a couple different genres. Now, Matt, take us through the making of this song as well as how the person is written for, reacted to it. Uh, so, so basically, last year during lockdown, I was on my way to work. And uh, one of the, one of the um, things that popped into my head was brown hair, brown eyes. And immediately I was like, that is such a cool name for a song. So I, I went home straight off the work and I, I put it together. And within an hour, I had the whole thing laid out. And uh, I took it to my, my good friend, Bryn Scott mm -hmm. uh, in Durban. And uh, we, we put it together. And uh, we had a guy called um, uh, Brent Quinton. He played the, the guitar on it, mm -hmm. uh, or some of the guitar on it. And he engineered for us. And um, the song came about and it was exactly how I, I imagined it and I uh, absolutely loved it. And uh, when I showed it to, to uh, the special person, she, she was blown away. She was like, oh my word, I cannot believe you've written a country song. Wow. And I can only, I can only imagine the pride, uh, you know, in her eyes seeing a song being written about her. That's really, really oh, yeah, beautiful. She man. loved it. Eh? Yeah, I can imagine. And you describe this song as your best work yet. Tell us more about why this is the case. Uh, I think it's my, my best work yet, just because it's it's the the first it's the it's the first time I've I've really released something that feels genuinely like me. Mm -hmm. um, every, everything else ha has been me, but this is the first song I've released after I've found the sound that I think is is mine. Okay. So, do you wanna like in your next project? Do you want to explore something almost similar or something totally different? Uh, the next the next project is going to be uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit different it's going to have a little bit of a country vibe but uh, not not a massive one um this one this next one is going to be more about uh, believing that if everyone just decides to be a, a better person the world can be a better place oh um, nice. that's that's what that's what the next one's about oh nice oh nice good to hear that and uh, how do you describe your sound in general we did speak about you know this being a country you know a country feel um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that uh, it's 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 kind of like a country feel, but it's got electronic elements. With I've I've always been a, a massive fan of of really awesome bass lines, so that's mm. that's always a must when in any of my songs. It has to have a really cool bass. Um, so so it's but my my sound is is basically just genuinely me, and mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of other elements put in. So it's so it's me with country and pop inside. Okay. Now, Matt, take us through some of your musical influences and the kind of impact those artists have had on the music that you make. Uh, internationally, the, the biggest guy has to be Ed Sheeran. Uh, I heard him mm. for the first time back when I was in school and I was absolutely blown away with what he was writing and uh, mm. the talent mm. that that guy has. I was 
I honestly couldn't believe it. And uh, I got to watch him a couple of years ago when he was in Johannesburg. And honestly, it, it was one of the most amazing experiences ever. And if I ever got to uh, write a song with Ed Sheeran, I think I'd probably pass out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, locally, there, there's a whole lot of guys that, that I'd love to work with. I mean, there's there's Matthew Mole, there's Jeremy Loops, uh, there's Majorzi, there's, there's a whole bunch of guys who I'd love to work with at some stage in the future. And they've, I've met them all in there. They're all really, really awesome guys. And uh, they've, they've really, Almost, almost showed me that it's it's possible to live your dream, you know. Mm, true, true. So, are you also a songwriter? Would you def describe yourself as a songwriter, or that the songwriting process is just spontaneous? You write about what comes into your mind. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd call myself a, a songwriter. Okay. Um, I, I write about literally in, anything that pops into my mind. Sometimes it's like random stuff, and those are songs that people will never hear because they're actually okay. kind of rubbish. Um, but. Uh, but any anything that, like if, if anything hectic happens in the world or, or anything, it, it impacts me obviously, and um, uh, it, it helps to write a song about it. It's it's, it's just a way to, to express myself and, and get mm. uh, get my, my thoughts and my feelings out into a, a little expressive piece. Okay. Now that this song is out, Matt, what else can we expect from you in the near future? Uh, I am planning a an EP uh, to come out. Hopefully, hopefully soon, um, but it's, it's in the works and, and it is coming. Ah, lovely chatting to you, man. How do your fans connect with you? Uh, I have uh, Instagram uh, and TikTok and all of that kind of stuff. Um, all of the handles are Matt Gardner official. Um, and if you search that, you'll, you'll find me. Um, and yeah, it'd be amazing to connect with some more people. Sure. I love that. Okay, Matt Gardner, lovely chatting to you, man. And all the best in your music. Thank you so much and thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure, man.